Built in 1950, the Hastings Bridge took Highway 61 over the Mississippi River. The two-lane bridge connected 30,000 vehicles to the other side on an average day. In 2008, the Minnesota Department of Transportation was given funds to improve the bridge and called Braun Intertech to provide a number of services throughout the span of the project. So I was the project manager for the uh, geotechnical investigation as well as the geotechnical instrumentation construction. So I'm with the transportation group, environmental side. I do a lot of transportation work as environmental manager. Due to differing geological conditions, protected species habitats, and the proximity of the city, this project presented a unique set of challenges from a monitoring perspective. In addition to those factors, the type of construction and project location made this equally unique from an instrumentation standpoint. So this project was uh, intended to replace the current bridge across the Mississippi River in Hastings. It was a uh, Pretty unique setting in that the south embankment was really situated in more of the downtown Hastings environment. They incorporated a lot of the bridge aspects into the uh, community development, so there's parks and trailways. The geology was much different there. Bedrock is very shallow on the south embankment. Um, and then as we crossed the river, it was a completely different environment. The various aspects of the project presented many challenges, requiring Braun Intertech to employ creative solutions to overcome. We had uh, a lot of drilling to do in a really short period of time, so any setbacks were pretty costly. On a number of occasions had to gather the more seasoned drillers we had and, and explore some various ways of extracting those samples and getting good quality. It was kind of a fun challenge, a lot of different terrain we had to deal with as part of that investigation. Um, we had a contractor build us a wood chip causeway out into the river so we could drive our drill rig out into the water. The most interesting one I think was on the riverbank there was a planned pier and we had to be very close to that foundation in terms of where our boring was uh, situated and so we had a contractor build a pile supported platform to drive our rig out on. The method of construction presented challenges not only for construction and implementation, but also for environmental monitoring. The bridge was constructed off-site and floated in. We had to construct a new barge loading area. Also with the bridge erection and float in, we brought in um, ocean-going barges. So we had to deal with the invasive species with the DNR. We had drilled caissons that went through contaminated bedrock and water. So managing the caissons, the slurry and the bedrock that comes out with that, along with uh, the demolition of the bridge, making sure that we do as limited disturbance as possible. Seeing this project through from the planning stage all the way to completion is a real point of pride at Braun Intertech. The delicate management between the different contractors and government agencies allowed the project to stay on schedule and in compliance with the various permits and navigation rules. The completed bridge is a stunning example of different team members coming together to solve challenges in creative and cost-effective ways. Talking with the contractor, MnDOT, and uh, the designers, also the re regulatory agencies, making sure that we're all on the same page, we've talked about everything beforehand, and we are in compliance with any permits we have. We were doing uh, drilling. We had drill rigs on the barge, drill rig on the land, various rigs, uh, a couple, couple of rigs at a time. For environmental, more of a mo monitoring situation for the contractor, from uh, erosion control to permitting, the non-destructive testing examination out there during the construction of the bridge. There was also the geotechnical oversight, materials testing. We also had quality control out there, and then obviously we had our, our engineers out there to review everything that's done. 